Well, welcome back to Chevy Blackhawks pregame live. You know, I'm, I'm kind of partial to the idea of a magic uniform, and it does seem that most Hawks fans don't consider themselves hardcore fans until they have a Hawks jersey of their own. Chuck Garfine found that some fans take that to an entirely new level. Blackhawks fans love their jerseys. How many Blackhawk jerseys do you have? Uh, I have about probably 20. 20 jerseys. At least. From pure hockey passion to borderline addiction. You have your own separate closet for that. I actually do. That's sick. It's very sick, and I'm horribly embarrassed right now. <laughs> and it if you could, just blur out the face, distort the voice, like I'm a criminal. So if you can't actually be them, you might as well wear them, even if you can't spell them. I'm putting you on the spot. How do you spell Bufflin? Uh, how do I spell it, the American way or the right way? The way it's on the back <laughs> of your jersey. B-Y-F-U-L. <laughs> oh, let's see here. B-Y-F-U-G. Oh, I meant, all right, G. Then what? U. No, L. L. U. <laughs> uh, no, I. I. N. I. E. N. I. E. N. Good job. All right. But besides players from the present, Hawks fans finally remember those special ones from the past. All right, so this is signed by Bobby Hull, 1983, signed by Tony Esposito in 1988, the years they got in as Hall right, of Famers. Exactly. And who do you got in the back? Uh, is Stan Makita. Stan Makita, number 21. That's if awesome. I get, if I get him to sign it, it uh, would pretty much make the cake. Uh, yeah. Dennis Hull. There you go. You're the only person I've ever seen besides Dennis Hull to wear a Dennis Hull that's jersey. That's, that's about right. <laughs> Why did you decide to do that? Uh, unique. It was unique. Whatever, it was different. You are definitely <laughs> unique. People probably think, hey, you got the wrong number. <laughs> At times. <laughs> and speaking of wrong numbers. All right, so I'm looking here. This is Kane number 14. I hate to say this, but, you know, Pat's 88. What happened here? No, I'm 14. I'm Pat Kane. The real Pat Kane. Okay, so 14 on the back. What does that mean? That's my birthday. You were born on the 14th? Yes. And what's what's this? Four? Four. Let's say April. Yeah. You were born on April 14th. 1960? Yep, exactly. You got your driver's license? Let me see this. All right, I need more than one form of identification. You've got your driver's license. What else you got? I got my uh, City plumbing. of Chicago Department of Builders Journeyman Plumbers. Your plumber's license. plumber's license. That says Pat Kane. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to believe him. But then you might not believe this. You show up today wearing whose jersey? Eric Nestorenko, my favorite. And he happens to be here and he today. he happens to be here. I came here with my three nephews. They got me the jersey for my birthday, and he happens to be here. It's awesome. And this little coincidence called for an introduction. Have you ever seen a fan wear one of your jersey? No. Oh, it's, it's the first fan I've seen. <laughs> Seriously. But just when you think things can't get any stranger, you were named after... Absolutely. Mr. Nestorenko. Number one five. Absolutely. Got the jacket here to prove it, too. Just in case you think I'm lying or anything. Yeah, like and you, got, you have his jersey as well. Oh, I figured what better way to honor him than to get a jersey. You don't see many 1-5 jerseys around here, so that's the only way I got to go. Now, why were you named after him? My dad's favorite player on the Blackhawks, number 1-5, Eric Nestorenko. He said he was the best on the PK, swooping up and down the ice. So. And here you are today, and he's right over there. The guy you were Absolutely. named after, he's signing autographs him. right there. That. Absolutely. What better way to come in here and... And uh, getting an autograph, and I actually had some research I had to do. I had to ask him if he tipped in Bobby's 50th. My dad was always wondering about that, so I heard it from the horse's mouth. So what was the answer? He said absolutely. He tipped oh, it in. You know what? Next time I see Bobby, I'll have to let him know that uh, we'll have to notch that goal down uh, one more. Then. So at your next Hawks game, remember, everybody can be somebody, and we mean anybody. I don't normally ask people this, but can I have your autograph? Sure. I'll give it. Thanks. I really appreciate that. What do you want me to sign? Yeah, just to sign my sweater. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We know we're in trouble when fans start wearing the Chuck Garfine jersey. The Blackhawks, for the uh, longest time, had a great record in their red jerseys. It slipped a little bit. They're now 27 and 8. Uh, the black jerseys have been the best percentage wise, 8 and 1. The Winter Classic jerseys, they only wore them once. Next year, those replaced the black jerseys, and considering the records, uh, maybe they want to reconsider that. All right, we're going to take another break. We'll come back and uh, look at that interesting stat about the standings on Chevy Blackhawks pregame live. Hawks and Blues coming up, bottom of the hour.